Hi there, and welcome to Photography on Tap. Today, I'd first like to address something I call zoom light. If you look at this image, it's got a, this beautiful doorways, and it's kind of intriguing and interesting. But you know, our eye always goes to what? Either the lightest or the darkest thing in the image. And right now, our eyes go into the lightest thing, which is that big doorway. And creating zoom light here is going to change that. It's going to zoom the attention where it needs to be. So before we create the zoom lighting, I'm going to duplicate the layer. And that's done under the layer menu item, which is layer, new, and a layer via copy. It's also command or control J, which is normally what I do is just a short key. Command J or control J duplicates the layer. Next, we're gonna convert this to something called a smart filter. And that's back under the filter menu item called convert to smart filters. This allows you to run multiple filters on the layer and be able to go back and change it if you need to for some reason. We now have a layer on top of the background, but it's the exact same image. And it's on this layer that we're gonna create the zoom light. And what the zoom light is, it's a zoom filter. As a matter of fact, it's under filter, blur, and it's called radial blur. I'm gonna use the zoom option and take this all the way up to 100%. And if you position your cursor inside the, bloom, the blur center, you can click and drag your mouse to reposition where the blur center is going to be. I'm gonna to try to get it right over the doorway with our model and just click OK. And I'm gonna zoom the image back on the screen here. And look what that's done. It's created that zoom light. We're gonna blend that in two different ways. And way number one is we'll take the opacity down to around 80%. And then we're gonna paint on the layer mask to reveal a certain parts of the layer itself. Now, what do I mean by layer mask? Well, if you look at this white page on this layer, on the smart filter, that's actually a mask. And look what's happened. If I fill this mask with black, look what happens. It got rid of the entire filter effect. And if I fill it with white, then it brings it all back. So now if I put black paint anywhere on that page, it's going to hide that part of that layer, okay? So that's what I call zoom lighting. It's just got this really cool look and it's made this a very interesting image. So cheers. 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 cheers.